I'm not really a, a math fan. I honestly don't understand math. I've always been the weakest in math. Geometry is overwhelming. I struggle in math. It's very hard for me. I'm very slow in math. My mom's like that too. My mom has the same problem. Students get a sense of themselves as this is all I can do. Students think, I'm the problem. I'm no good at math and my mom's no good at math. So they take responsibility. They don't say, uh, well, school mathematics has evolved into a weird beast. But that's the reality. I'm working with a group of students who would be considered level one students, so they are really, really struggling with math every day. It's a hurdle for them to, to uh, motivate themselves to learn math. So you can fix it. The normal curriculum is very dry. The engagement level is very low. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I'm just like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And it's like, no, I don't know what you're saying. I learned something I remember for the day, but the next day, I forgot. I'm just getting harder and harder and harder. It keeps getting harder. Students are going to college, and they are appearing not ready for college. And it's because they've been brought up on a diet of answer getting. Um, I already know what you're going to say. Oh, OK. One of the things that's coming out of the Common Core State Standards is to shift towards mathematical practices. We want students to be able to see relationships. We want them to be able to persevere in problem solving. We want them to see structure. Mathematics is not a series of steps to be remembered. It's something that we do. We engage in the practice of doing mathematics. The structure that we're using when they're beginning to implement the formative assessment lessons in their classrooms is a very simple model. On day one, they administer the assessment task that comes with the formative assessment lesson. This is an individual task and it's an attempt to see how far you can go when you are presented with a specific problem. When the students are working on the pre-assessment, they have to work alone and they have to work in a really traditional format. The circumstances of performance are test-like, and the student has nothing but a pencil and paper or calculator, whatever they need, to work it out. I think that's more of a struggle when I'm doing it by myself, because I have nobody to actually say something, so I can just jump, piggyback off of her words. So it's like, ugh, what am I gonna do? They give you like a hard, a hard equation, just trying to answer that and like trying to like put your head in there and just doing it. Don't get frustrated if you cannot find the final answer, as we say. Because tomorrow we're going to come back for a lesson that is going to help you to complete this task. The teachers go to an after-school meeting where they analyze their students' work. He's a little stronger because he got most of this right, but he's not as strong as this other kid. They're using that evidence that they have generated in class during day one to inform them as to how they should adapt the instruction on day two. I can clearly see that they're making a, that basic misconception with the cost and the number. Okay, so one of the misconceptions is confusing the price with the actual number of items. One of the specific things that we ask them to do in the after school meeting is to create feedback questions for their students so that their students may consider the feedback questions and use these to deepen their learning experience. Does it make sense to use the diameter? And that's just like a, a question. Right. That brings them into thinking about the mathematics of the task more deeply. So there's a big shift on day two. And the formative assessment lesson is designed to create an opportunity to learn. So that might be through card sorts. In this bag are algebraic expressions that you have to match with algebraic language. Let's put these in order. You see how, what number, what number is that? Three, three right? Three. There's no three right here, so. Yeah, that's, that's, that's it? it? Yeah. It's no longer about um, memorization. It's not about trying to remember something. As you go through this, why don't you convince them what and why is your best solution? Students are actually put in a situation where they have to participate 
in a collaborative activity. If you hold the triangles up like this, she's saying spin a little triangle and you'll get one fourth. So when you spin a little triangle and match the medians up, you count how many triangles in it, it's one to four. That's why I say hugs is the best and the easiest. The collaborative part of the activity of doing mathematics wasn't sorting cards or working on the circles and triangles. Instead, it was analyzing other students' approaches to this non-routine complex problem. I had a little confidence yesterday, but today, because we were in groups, my confidence was up. As soon as I'm with everybody else and we all going over it, I don't mind being wrong because I learned from it. So I'm like, hopefully the next time I'll master it. I'm like, all right, I got this. Next, keep it coming. Having the students engage in the activities and in, in the concepts and with a common goal, if everybody's on board, there is no way that the children are not going to be successful. You are in charge of your own learning. The new formula will be eight times bigger than the regular formula instead of double the formula. That's absolutely wonderful. I've noticed in working in schools where the teachers are implementing the formative assessment lessons, they offer the students um, an opportunity to do mathematics, to make uh, decisions, um, to reason. X is the number of quarters, so it means whatever number you put there, it has to be that number times 25 cents. The student has some data that conflicts with their notion of themselves. So they can do it when they're working in groups. They get a sense of, oh, I was figuring it out. And it will be 7.4. All right. High five. Really but high it's the variable. They have a sense that I felt smarter. Today and yesterday, actually helped me a lot. If any of my friends didn't get it, I would like help them, but then we all got it and then we just talked it out. People that were in your group, you could count on them to like tell you answers, so you got a confident feeling knowing that someone was there to back you up and that was good. Working with other people, um, interacting with different papers was like 